So, uh, the Johnny Depp trial has been going on for like the last week, and I am, well, I, I'm troubled by all of it, mostly, because there's no easy narrative that you can just tie up in a little bow, and that bothers me, but I'm also obsessed, I can't look away, it's like the saddest thing in the world, and I can't stop watching, and right now, at this exact moment, they are on lunch break for this televised trial. And Johnny Depp, I think, is supposed to take the stand right after lunch. So I'm here with you, doing this real quick, because I want to say hi to my sensors, but also I want to go do that. So I'm going to tell you what we are making in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Open Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Setzers? Welcome back to the channel. You're at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for day 267 of 365 days of soap. And today, we're making some coffee bars. We're making a vanilla, like a cream and sugar, looks like a frappuccino coffee bar, made with coffee as the substitution for the water, 100%. And also, I'm going to tell you a fun way to get a vanilla scent using a couple fragrance oils that aren't at all vanilla. So that means that you don't even have to mess with worrying about discoloration. So that's going to be a fun time. So let's get to the video, check out this awesome epic pour for one of my wholesale accounts. You don't know. Hello, uh, let's make some coffee soap today. We're actually going to be making a lot of coffee soap in the next week because, you know, I had one of my coffee wholesale accounts order some soap and I'm like, we haven't actually done this in a while. So we did one recently and we're going to do a couple more this week. And I thought we could tackle some questions about coffee in soap in the process. And so first up for coffee, you can brew your coffee and put that in place of your water at 100% water replacement. So essentially it's still water, but it has all the cool things that, you know, is in coffee in your soap now too. So, you know, we're talking about very, very antioxidant rich lye waters, very high in, you know, like vitamin B3. It has caffeine in it. It's, you know, very, very cool. And I have found that with coffee soaps and tea soaps alike, interestingly, trace has been harder to come by these days and I have to mix it more. So just keep that in mind. If you find that to be the case, yeah, um, that can happen. Just continue to pay attention to your emulsion and trust the process, and it does come together. It also produces a very, very hard bar of soap with big, beautiful bubbles. Like, I just, I cannot describe just how cool the bubbles are with a coffee soap or a tea soap. And we've talked about that in the tea videos that we did, you know, last year or whatever, sort of my, my logic, my rationale around that. But you know, whether or not that's accurate is something I've never bothered to super look up. Um, all I know is that it has really cool, like almost effervescent bubbles, much like you would see with an alcohol soap with a beer or a wine soap but coffee does not contain, you know, sugars. And so it's a different profile that you're working with within your, you know, enhanced lye solution for coffee. 
Now, you'll also notice how dark that coffee was. This is a full, very strong brew that I made for this using the coffee that comes from, you know, the Wholesale Accounts actual coffee house. So that's part of, you know, the whole thing. You saw how dark it was. You also see how light these oils are now. Well, that's reasonably easy to achieve, just making sure from the very beginning that you already have a lot of oils that are light in color, you know, naturally. And so if you're wanting to make sure that your parts of your soap get very, very white, I would recommend staying away from like your shea butters because those can be, especially your unrefined shea's, they're very yellow or, you know, your dark green oils with like your hemp's and whatnot. And you should have a fairly high amount of really, really solid white oils like coconut oil or palm kernel flakes in this to ensure that you're going to end up with a, you know, white bar when it's all said and done. But for the most part, paying attention to your oils, it's not, again, as long as you're not dealing with the really, really dark colored oils, it's not difficult to achieve a white. Now with this, as you guys have seen for the past like six months or so, I have been on a no titanium dioxide at all whatsoever, never, ever, ever, kick. Mostly because I've been lazy and haven't wanted to disperse more titanium dioxide. I've got loads of it. I just don't want to disperse it. I'm lazy. So instead, I've been using kale and clay just to see how white you can get things just with kale and clay. And the answer to that is very. Like you have seen the different like ombre gradient pours that I've done in the past, you know, month or so that really do show the kaolin right there copious amounts of kaolin clay, which I disperse in water, really do lighten this up without any real, you know, titanium dioxide or anything needed. So that's good. Now, as far as the coffee in this particular soap, again, dark coffee, we're not having any problems with the white with it getting lighter, but the particular scent blend that I use, because this is like their vanilla frappuccino. They call it a cream and sugar bar. And so they want a lot of hits of vanilla in it. I can't actually use a vanilla scent in really any of this because, well, it, it darkens, it discolors. And so I had to get pretty creative with actually making my scent blend for this. But the thing is, there are loads of things that smell very vanilla-esque that you can pair with other things to that still have, you know, non vanillin and won't discolor that still give off that vanilla vibe. Like black raspberry vanilla, for example, is a really good thing to pair with a number of different scents to achieve that. So weirdly, and I know this sounds crazy, but if you are looking for a nice vanilla scent and you don't want discoloration, I recommend trying, like trying your hand at playing with black raspberry vanilla, which says vanilla in the name, right? But it doesn't discolor with any, from any company that I've ever purchased it from. I get mine from Nature's Garden and it doesn't discolor. And uh, black raspberry vanilla paired with a sandalwood that you know is also not going to discolor. This, and I know it sounds cuckoo bananas, but it works and it's freaking amazing. So you can get a really nice vanilla scent like this is a foodie type thing without any discoloration. So just keep that in mind. Just, oh, don't be afraid to play with fragrances. I feel like we've done a video on how I actually design my fragrance blends, like how I decide what goes with what. I'm pretty sure we have. If I haven't, you know, please let me know because that would be a fun video, I think. But I'm pretty sure I've already done that. But anyway, so this particular coffee soap, as you can see, just with the kaolin clay, it got very, very light and it's going to stay that way because, you know, reasons. I have a lot of light oils in there as well is the big reason. And also I've made this a bajillion times, so I know it's going to stay this light. But it's a really, really cool soap to definitely see pop because the colors inside with that caramel color and the swirl pattern that I did create some very interesting different, you know, textures and colors within that with a good C-pop. 
okay, now on to the cut of this. And I started the video out talking about coffee and the benefits and whatnot, and really wanted to talk about the problems. Cause I mentioned, I haven't really researched why I think, you know, this bubbles the way that it does. I haven't really researched that because a, it doesn't super matter, you know, anything beyond my theories on it. Cause I can't say realistically anything about this soap. <gasps> Look how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that look like a Frappuccino? But I can't really say anything about this soap other than, you know, coffee produces a cool bubble. And when I was looking up coffee real quick to see, does coffee have tannins? Because I always forget. I came across five freaking websites on page one of Google that were all making medicinal claims about coffee in soap. And, you know, obviously there's coffee grounds, exfoliation, promote circulation. That's not necessarily a medical claim. I guess it's exfoliate, whatever. Um, and I wanted to talk about that because there were straight up people that were saying, you know, coffee soap cures acne and acne scars and all. I, and these are drug claims that we really cannot make in, in soap. And I was actually very surprised that I found so many freaking uh, companies that were doing that just on the first page of Google, including a very well-known company. And no, it's not Lush. So I wanted to do that. But again, we didn't really have time with all of this. So I thought just basic, let's first talk about how coffee can be replaced in your soap. So there it is. Also give you some cool information about how to get a vanilla smell without actually using something that has vanillin in it. So there that is. And I think for the next coffee soap that we do, which might be tomorrow, we can talk more about the, you know, benefits of coffee versus what you can actually say the benefits are, if that makes sense. But for now, that's day 267. That's the Frappuccino. It's a babe. I love it. And there they are, the vanilla frappuccino cream and sugar things made with coffee. And as you can see, yeah, you can totally make the parts of a coffee soap white without using titanium dioxide or any of that jazz. Just A, pay attention to your oils that go into the recipe first and foremost, but two, lean into your clays. Clays are your friend. You know, the white ones, like the kaolin clay. That's gonna make it white. If you wanted it green, you could use the green clays. Blue clays, activated chart, you get it? Yeah. So if you're interested in these bars, you can't get them from me. Website is definitely coming along, and I know I say this all the time, but it is. And every day I'm a little bit more excited about it, so that's awesome. If you are in the area, you can stop by any of the Tacoma Java locations, and they have them there, along with some other very, very beautiful soaps. So go check those out, for sure. I right, am out of here for today, because A, uh, the lighting is all really weird, and I don't think I'm actually uh, lit right for any of this. I just noticed that. And so it's making me uncomfortable. But two, I want to go and, uh, get back to the, the, the Johnny Depp sadness thing. So yes, uh, for my sudsers, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you guys. I owe you a live. It's in the works for sure. There's a lot of moving parts with kids on vacation and then the end of whatever. It's all a thing. But yeah, we'll, we'll get together live soon because I definitely miss you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another round of 365 Days of Soap. I'm out of here for today, but I will see you all again tomorrow for another round of Coffee Soapy Fun. Bye.